morning guys you got to show you something a quick little review this little switch here electronic cruise control for the KDM 690 You purchase these from MC Cruise down in Melbourne. They do cru electronic cruise control for a whole make and model of bikes. And I thought, why not give it a crack? So, um, as you can see, people like when you get to use cruise control all the time. Um, I thought, should I, shouldn't I? But you know what? Some of these rides we're doing, we're doing some big days and there's some stretches on the way home that your right hand gets a bit sore, so as you can see, um, when I'm commuting on into town, that when I do, I actually use it all the time, like you normally do in a car, and it's very surprisingly how much you do use it. So with the MC Cruise, it is exactly the same as electronic cruise control on your bikes that come from the factory with it or your um, same as your cars so um, it's got set resume accelerate deaccelerate on and off and um, yeah I thought I'd show you guys a quick review about it so it's as easy as that So yeah, I'm on the highway, 87, hit the set button, voila. And like on these bikes, they, you know what I mean when you're going into town, like the slightest touch, any bike, slightest touch of the throttle, you know, next minute you're doing 60, you know, you're always looking at your speed and and then yeah, just catching up to a car, just hit the de-accelerate button. And it de-accelerates by two kilometers at a time. You can change it to de-accelerate by one, but yeah, I've just got it at two. So yeah, really happy, really good. Um, installation wise, you have uh, very easy to install. Don't get like it, it looks like it's gonna spin you out, but it is so simple to install. You've got a switch that goes from just your, uh, your indicators here to like your brake switch and your headlight and it's just plug and play so they give you an adapter um, and the other one goes into your throttle position sensor which is just here beside my fuel tank just right there same thing plug and play and then the next one is you hook it into your CAN bus so if you run a dongle for your ABS um, you stipulate whether you've got a dongle or not and he'll give you a, like a double adapter basically and just plugs into that and mate, done. Um, the dog that mate, the instructions are so simple. Um, how to set it and test it before you ride it. You can actually do it all on the bike in a diagnostic mode. There is a video on their website with their install. I recommend going by the video, not by the paperwork. Uh, the video is just so easy. And then it has all these adjustments you can do in gain sensors. So. If you feel as like the bike's hunting, you can adjust the gain and the fine gain to make it smooth, like especially on bikes that have a real, um, uh, what do I say, real like touchy throttle. Um, sometimes it'll just, it'll be hunting just real quickly to, to keep the speed. Um, you can adjust that. Um, you can adjust how hard it accelerates. So say you come to a hill, and yeah, you know, the bike accelerates to keep its speed. It will adjust, uh, you can adjust how sensitive you want it to be to that. Um, but when you order it, it comes set to how they reckon it should be set for your bike. So when I went through 
just to have a look and see what the settings were. Um, they basically set it from the factory when they make it to how it should be on my bike. So everything was really low. Um, and yeah, it works perfect. So, yeah, what am I doing? 45, just hit it. And it's easy that that's your set button set and accelerate that's your resume and de-accelerate that's your on off and that's your light to tell you what's going on so when you go through your menus different colors and different flashes represent different settings it is it is a little bit pricey um i think it's 850 dollars um I've got the ABS dongle, so it was a little bit extra to get the piggyback, so you could plug both in. Full, let's see, you go, school zone, bang, 40. Not going to worry about speeding, hands off. Uh, your brake, your clutch, your brake and your clutches, um, disconnect, turn it off. So, yeah. Not much else I can say. Um, you know, I had a few people say that when you get to use it, when you get to use it. You know what? When you've got it, you use it all the time. And see, so, still on. I can accelerate. And it'll drop back to 40 and hold 40. So, yeah, anyone that doesn't know that you can get it, um, any of your big adventure riders that, you know, do big. Simpson desert trips over a few weeks you know and there are days where you're doing you've got to do you know all your black tar you've got to do all your um, highway work to get there um, yeah you can get different switches I've got the slimline switch um, which is the latest one out so there we go, just set it again. So yeah, I use it all the time. And, and to you get, like I said, you get a slimline switch. You can get one that goes um, above it, which is a long bar. And you get one below it, which is a bar. But you'll see that on their website, so. But there we go, there is my take on the MC Cruise electronic cruise control for the 2019 and 20 KTM 690 Enduro. Righto guys, just going to do a quick video of all the mods I've done to this 2019 690 Enduro R. So, um, yeah, here we go. So, I've got the Raid Garage Rally tower um, now it's really good it has really good headlights super bright lights I really like how bright the lights are awesome having all your gear up in front of you like your phone or your navigation and even your speedo like getting it away from sort of down here it's a lot more in eyesight instead of looking all the way down um, it has good wind protection, but what I will say is it has what I call dirty wind. So it is a lot noisier with wind behind it. Um, yeah, and I just call it dirty air, not sort of wind turbines. Like my head doesn't shake or nothing like that, but it's just, I call it dirty wind. So it's just a lot noisier with wind. Um, what else have I done? I've gone the raid. Um, raid guard, radiator guard, uh, I'll put that one on there, just to help stop the, the rocks from sort of protecting the radiator a bit more than the plastic one. Um, the Vanash Motorsports Molecule um, bash plate, uh, nice and light and goes all the way along, all the way along here and comes under and protects your rear shock linkages as well which is really good um, what else have I got um, tire pressure monitoring system just there just an eBay job uh, these mirrors are off eBay um, they just fold in really good out of the way 
uh, heater grips, they're just your Ballards heater grips from the MX store um, that run under, I like my pillow top grips so they run underneath it um, the Raid Garage fuel tank in the front so another five and a half litres there also the seat concepts, comfy seat we have B&B bash plate, the Vanash filler cap Wings exhaust, um, that's uh, cruise control, electronic cruise control from MC Cruise, and as you see, that's where the computer's mounted. Very easy to install, um, basically plugs into three different areas, your brake switch up top, your TPS throttle position sensor sort of behind this plastic guard and your cam bus under your seat where all your fuel dongles go so very easy to install um, I just changed it from a 15 front tooth to a 16 to give me uh, lower RPM at sort of highway speeds first gear is still fine for doing tight stuff um, but just on you're doing those little highway stints it's just a little bit better um, I had to get a new chain because the chain that comes with it is a riveted chain um, so you can't put a join link in, not that I wanted to anyway so I had to get a new chain and make it a bit longer uh, what else, what else, what else, what else bar risers obviously um, that's just a 36 litre Oxford luggage bag on the back it sort of unzips and comes up I've got a tank bag Enduristan tank bag for here besides that um, I've done 3,300 K's on it now um, oh I have replaced the friggin clutch slave cylinder with an Oberon one um, in behind there if you can see it or not <laughs> Mine didn't let go, so I thought I'd do the right thing and just buy the O-ring. And I had trouble with the O-ring I got. So, and then, yeah, the rubber boot that goes around the little piston in there, it had sort of cracked. So I just bit the bullet and bought it. So hopefully that sorts that out. Running the Tractionator Desert HT on the rear very happy with that, I did have a Dunlop D606 which I've worn out I'm just trying the Motos, so far so good Pirelli Scorpion Rally front um, also a great front tyre uh, I do notice now it is starting to get very noisy on the road so it's got about 2,500 k's on it Bark Busters, save your levers and yeah, that's pretty much all the mods. Um, very happy with the bike. I walk, as people know that have watched the channel, I was tossing up between a 790 and the 690. I am definitely more an off-road rider than a road rider. And if this thing was quite happy to sit on 120 on the road, um, when I had to, I was more than happy. And it does it very well. Extremely well. So... An awesome off-road. Um, I went and done a heap of single trail with a few mates that ride the smaller bikes. And pretty much there's two things they didn't take me through. Which only because they had really gnarly switchbacks sort of halfway like single trail and really really loose. And they a few of the boys got stuck there for a while trying to get up it. So, But all the other single trail was no drama. And um, best thing is I rode it from home. So yeah guys there's my review of my mods and upgrades of the 690 um, hope you enjoy anyone on the fence mate they're an awesome bike I love it I reckon I made the right decision I did have an 1190 before this I went the wrong way I went from one extreme riding a 450 EXC to buying an 1190 and they're yeah, way too big for off-road and then yeah serious consideration we come back to the 690 and I love it it's great so thanks for watching guys